Layoff goes in motion, blocking for Chad Spann. Biggest hole for him to run through today to the 35 as the Huskies pick up another first down. Northern Illinois has a terrific running back tradition. LaShawn Johnson led the nation in 1993 in rushing. Michael Turner, a two-time All-American. Garrett Wolf having a great NFL career as well. Over 5,000 rushing yards. And now Chad Spann, the former walk-on, who is 20th in the nation, 99 rushing yards a game. He has 20 rushing touchdowns on the season, a Northern Illinois record. That is one less than the national leader, LaMichael James of the Oregon Ducks. He's not a bad player, huh, Mike? He's not a bad player. He's got some quicks. He does work cut out for him against Auburn and Cam Newton. Harness, what grab by Martel Moore. Third down, Harness to the air again. Complete first down again. It's Willie Clark. The Huskies' leading receiver who's dragged down inside the 20 by Lauren Bell. Spain gets it on second down. Spain cuts it back. Touchdown, Huskies in Chad Spain. 21st rushing touchdown of the season for the senior from Indianapolis. That may be the nail in the coffin. Fresno State has been outscored in the second and fourth quarters. Nine-game winning streak snapped in the MAC championship when Miami came back to beat the Huskies. Hart is rolling on first down, heaving to the sideline. That's a catch and a great catch by Ashford. He's a native of Silver Lake, Kansas. The incoming Northern Illinois head coach Dave Dorn is a Kansas native as well. By sweep is going to go for a solid gain for the Huskies of Northern Illinois. Again, both staffs borrowing from each other in terms of halftime adjustments, seeing the fly sweep now from NIU. And again, what Fresno State had success with. Very clear personnel packages to highlight the talent. And that play there with Hopkins showing off his speed. Span gets it on first and goal and has his second rushing touchdown of the day. Northern Illinois is making a statement on the blue turf in Boise. Down by 30 points in the fourth. Continuing the blitz, just like you talked about, Brock, and it's getting to the quarterback. Butler is the man who blitzed and brought pressure, and then Sean Progar finishes it off. The sixth sack of the day from Northern Illinois. Turnabout on a Fresno State team that prides itself on getting to the QB. 523 away from making it back-to-back -back wins for MAC teams in bowl games after that thrilling win last year the GMAC Bowl and now Ohio's gonna take on Troy next. Is that pass complete to the 30? It's a calm before the storm when somebody's usually talking to you, trying to distract you while the other guys are backing away. If you get good peripheral vision, you sort of roll your neck to cover up so it doesn't go down the back and down your shorts and into your shoes. And it hasn't frozen yet, which would be an even more painful dump. And there, there it is. <laughs> the immediately enthusiasm that we felt from the Northern Illinois coaching staff, from the Northern Illinois players. Interim head coach Tom Matukowicz gets the Gatorade shower. So does defensive coordinator Jay Solvell. And I'm going to guess this is probably the most fun day of his life. First Gatorade dump of Tom Matukowicz's coaching career. Oh, boy. That was flush. Oh, well, when you turn around to look, that's a bad thing, too. <laughs> well, the headset got ripped head. off. Well, you can't afford a lot of headsets at that level. I hear that was an impressive what? move. The level of detail. That's exactly Where does it end with the program? Well, the three goals were win the game, get that school record 11, celebrate a good season, and have fun. That, that is clearly checked off all three from the Northern Illinois High camaraderie that these young men have and this whole team and whole program right now is really fun to watch. Now, does he take a timeout? <laughs> now, 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 what does now what does Shelly have in store? What does he have in store for Shelly after this game, too? I think it's must-watch TV.
He said it's reality TV it's at its best. Watching this team unfold, watching them come here for this game, is reality TV at its best. He's cleaning up the field, too. That is a coach enjoying his time as the head man. A very good Northern Illinois football team takes care of business at the 2010 You Drove Humanitarian Bowl, a school record 11th win. The players hoist interim head coach Tom Matukowicz onto the field here in Boise. I miss this right here. I'll tell you what, that is at the end of the game, you're going to shake the other guy's hand, going to see the faces in the locker room, the, the, the joy on the kids and the players and the coaches' faces. It's amazing. And here's Shelly Smith. Okay, how was that Gatorade shower? It, it's never felt so finer. I tell you what, that was nice. These kids are amazing. This has been a, a season of life. And we, and we told our story about a team that's come together, and, and I can't be any more happier than that. What does it mean to this program? Well, it means, hey, we had a top 25 rankings. All right, we lost that ranking, and, and now we got a victory against a good football team. I'm telling you right now, we should start next year in the top 25. All right, great. Thank you so much. All right. 40 to 17. Northern Illinois gets its school record 11th win of the season, winning the 2010 You Drove Humanitarian Bowl here in Boise. Live coverage of the trophy ceremony on ESPN3.com. For Brock here with Mike Velotti, Shelly Smith, and our entire crew, I'm Carter Blackburn. Now we send you back to the studio. Like a triple A. Really, man? Really, man. I am the champion. 